the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is a little bit of debate, maybe, about what the word monday means or where it comes from, but the general accepted understanding is that it's derived from the Latin word that basically we get mandate from. We've heard a lot about mandates recently. We've got a new mandate coming uh, on Monday to return to the masks. It is uh, the word for commandment. Uh, and of course, obviously, it is called Monday Thursday because of the text that we just heard from John, where Jesus, uh, in that night in which he will be betrayed, uh, gives his disciples a new commandment to love one another. That this would be the primary way in which people would know, everyone, Jesus says, will know that who his disciples are, that they have love for one another. That the central thing known about these people, the central thing known about the disciples of Jesus is that practices of love for others is the center of their identity of who they are. Not only who they are, but therefore whose they are. And that this act of love is centered in a kind of washing of forgiveness, which alludes directly to our uh, sacrament of baptism, in which we have been cleansed. And that we participate in these acts of confession and forgiveness as a kind of washing the feet. That part of us that has gotten dirty again after our bath that needs to be accounted for and forgiven. But that finds itself also as a source of identity of a people who are centered first in God's love for us, and then to reflect that to the world. It is also a night in which we remember another kind of different commandment that Jesus gives. To take bread, to, tr to take the cup filled with the fruit of the vine, to give thanks over it, and to share it reminding one another that we are to remember Christ or to be remembered to Christ. That Christ shares his own self, his own life, his own body, which will be broken, and blood, which will be poured out for the sake of the world. And like the Israelites before, who also had a meal of remembering, the Passover meal would remember them to the Exodus. That if they participated in that meal, it was as though they were members of those who had participated in the very Exodus. And so on this night in which Jesus will be betrayed, he institutes another meal of remembrance to be a member again. As the Israelites were remembered to the Exodus, so Jesus' disciples would be remembered to himself. They would find themselves re-centered in an act of love to be remembered to the command that we are a community that practices love for one another. And in that meal, we are reminded that we are the body of Christ. And we too will be broken and poured out for the sake of the world. That's what Jesus is talking about when he says, I give you a new commandment to love one another. We are being reconnected to become a member again of the one 
who came in love for us and invites us to share that love with others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.